What's up guys, welcome back to VDK TV. Today we've got an exciting review for you on uh, our mountaintop custom kennels. Custom made dog insert for my 2017 F-350. We had this, Michelle and I actually designed this from the ground up. We found, uh, we've been seeing a lot of the hunting breed people with really neat setups on their trucks. Uh, and we decided to kind of bring that to the working dog world. Uh, I didn't want a chassis mount, which would be removing this bed and putting a dog box on top. Instead, I wanted a cage that uh, one was secure, had a lot of room, could hold some dogs, carry our equipment, and then I can move from truck to truck. Uh, a lot of the uh, bed toppers you see, all the dogs enter on the sides. I didn't want that because I didn't want to have uh, dogs jumping and scratching the side of my truck. Uh, and for the most part, when we go on short trips, we're only taking a few dogs with us, our own personal dogs. So we decided to go with the three dog configuration across the back. This allows uh, ease of getting the dog in and out. I'm gonna put this tailgate down real quick. So our dogs can jump up here. They can jump into these uh, boxes. We are a little high up, but uh, that's basically the stance of the truck. They can jump in those boxes and they're secure. This unit is bolted down, uh, so it's not gonna go anywhere. Also, we carry a lot of equipment with us, so I wanted to make sure I had plenty of drawer space. I also wanted to make sure I had drawers that were full length. So these drawers are pretty much full length of the bed. Um, they're about five feet long or so. And they carry a ton of our gear. Uh, on this side we have leashes, collars, muzzles, toys, harnesses, retrieve items, cones, some medical in the back, um, which you can never have enough medical, by the way, for dog training stuff. The top drawers, so it is two two sections. The top drawers can carry two full suits. Uh, I can classically keep my bite jackets on the left. Uh, we'll keep a prosthetic. We'll keep a prosthetic uh, bite sleeve in here too. On the right, I like to keep my suit pants. Again, I can fit two sets in there. Uh, I have a comp pant, a little thicker pant, some reward toys. Uh, some sticks and stuff like that. Some send away toys. These are great for uh, send aways for dogs. Like the Anivant or the Vras. Sending the dog straight out. And on the bottom left, kind of a miscellaneous. More bite sleeves. Uh, I keep some odor for my detection dogs. I have a couple explosive detection dogs. So I'll keep um, just some, some black powder maybe. Nothing that's... Uh, uh, going to cause any problems for me. Uh, we'll keep a, uh, a gun, like a, a, a starter pistol, I should say. I don't want anybody thinking I have a gun in here. Um, bite sleeve and just some other stuff. So like I said, three across the back. Uh, one thing that I did want to do was make sure I had more uh, brake, brake light power. And we'll, uh, we'll get a video, we'll get a, a quick shot of it. But basically these come on when I hit the brakes. I also want to make sure I had plenty of light for when I'm backing up or letting dogs out. I had them custom wire these lights so that they'll come on in reverse, but I can also turn them on manually if I need to. They're called airing lights, so if I need to break my dog, uh, let them go to the bathroom in a parking lot, in the woods, even camping, uh, if you're into kind of overlanding and camping, it, it can provide plenty of, plenty of uh, light. Going back to these dog compartments, they're all made with uh, stainless steel skin. The frame itself is aluminum, uh, but it's all a stainless steel skin. These louvers are pretty nice. You can open them and close them, and they still maintain, uh, keep the dog in there. They allow a lot of airflow. 
and overall it's, it's a good design you can, you can control how much air you have going in and out obviously all three bays open which provides maximum airflow for the dogs i'm going to swing around to the side here these sides also open allowing for cross air ventilation be sure to tune in next time and thanks for watching vbk tv